Hello and welcome to my channel. So, nandito na naman si Sir Pat para sa isa na namang makabuluang video. So, for this video guys, of course, I will teach you uh, the 10 tips, tricks, and hidden features of Microsoft Windows 10. Before we start, no, I just want to clarify that uh, there are several um, tricks in Microsoft Windows 10. But for this video, I will show you only 10 na for sure ay makakatulong sa inyo at uh, magagamit ninyo. So, without further ado, let's get started. First, minimize all windows except the active one. Basically, these features of Windows 10 will automatically close all the programs except the active one. To demonstrate this, inopen ko yung ilang program na naka-install dito sa aking device. Gaya ng Microsoft Word, uh, the Google Chrome, and the File Explorer. And uh, let assume na yung notepad yung gagawin nating active. So, to do that, just click the title bar of the program okay click and hold and then just shake it so as we can see all the programs automatically na nag minimize so para maibalik natin yon uh, do the same procedure click and hold the title bar of the program and then shake so as we can see bumalik yung mga naka minimize kanina so, shake it again, minimize, shake it again, babalik, shake it again, minimize. So, ganun lang ka-basic. Number 2, open the secret start menu. Windows 10 has a secret start menu. Para makita natin ito, just simply press doon sa ating keyboard, the Windows plus X key. As we can see, May lumabas na dialog box doon sa left side ng screen and showing yung iba pang mga uh, menu dito sa Windows 10 including the apps and features, mobility center, power options, and so on. The other option para lumabas yung secret start menu sa Windows 10 is just by uh, right click the Windows logo doon sa baba. So, right click nyo lang yan and then automatic na na lalabas. So, again, ulitin ko. The first one is just simply press ating keyboard Windows plus X and the other one, just right click the Windows logo. Okay? Number three, take a screenshot. Basically, para makapture natin yung screen ng ating device is pinipindot lang natin yung print screen sa ating keyboard and then paste natin sa paint and tsaka natin siya isi-save as picture maliban doon the other method to save the screenshots on our device is just by pressing the windows plus print screen key in our keyboard so after doing that it will automatically save doon sa picture folder sa ating library. So, as we can see, meron na siyang auto-generated na folder which is screenshots. So, dito sa folder na to, dito masasave lahat ng na-screenshot na natin. So, try ulit nating mag-print uh, screen. So, I am pressing again the Windows plus print screen. So, as we can see, automatic na siya na nag-save dito sa screenshots folder. The other method to capture the screen is uh, to use the default program of Windows 10 which is the snip and sketch. To use this, just simply press doon sa keyboard Windows Shift S. So as we can see, mayroong lumabas doon sa taas na mga option such as um, rectangular snip, freeform snip, and so on. So basically, rectangular is to capture the screen in rectangular form. 
while the uh, free form is um, you can capture any form that you like and also meron din ditong window snip and full screen snip na pwede nating magamit okay so those are the different ways kung paano tayo nag uh, capture ng screen sa windows 10 number four Open items on your taskbar with keyboard shortcuts. So the taskbar is located on the bottom part of our screen. So yung mga program na nakikita natin dito is pwede natin yung i-open without clicking it. So to do that, alamin nyo lang kung anong number kung saan nakapwesto yung program na gusto nyong i-open. For example, gusto mong i-open si... Um, Notepad, which is ang location niya currently dito sa taskbar is from left to right, magka-count lang tayo, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So basically, si Notepad is located in number 6. So para ma-open natin yan, just simply press sa ating keyboard, Windows plus 6. So as we can see, nag-open na ngayon si Notepad. Okay, try natin yung iba. For example, I want to open the Google Chrome, which is ang current location niya is number 2. So, press ko lang sa keyboard, Windows 2. And then, ayan, nag-open na ngayon si Google Chrome. So, ganun lang kadali mag-open ng program sa taskbar without clicking it. Okay? Number 5, figure out how much space apps are taking up. This features of Windows 10 is parang yung nakikita natin sa smartphones na kung saan malalaman natin yung kung ilan na yung nakakain na memory sa ating device. So to do that, punta lang kayo sa settings ng inyong uh, laptop. And then, piliin natin yung system doon sa menu. And then from the left pane, select natin yung storage. And then after clicking that, so, makikita natin dito na nagko-compute itong device natin kung ilan na yung memory na uh, na-consume nung bawat kategory na naka-indicate dyan. For example, apps and features is nag-consume siya ng almost 35 gig. So, the videos nag-consume ng 10 gig and so on and so forth. So, pwede natin i-click din yung uh, show more categories para magpakita pa yung iba pang uh, mga categories. Okay? Number 6. Shut down background apps. These features of Windows 10 can help us to save battery. Especially kung mabilis malobat ang iyong uh, device. Basically, isa-shut down lang natin yung mga background apps para hindi ito nagko-consume ng battery. So, to do that, punta lang kayo sa settings and then from the menu piliin natin yung privacy from the left pane hanapin natin yung background apps so dito um, pwede nating i-toggle off itong option na to or yung let apps run in background since naka-on yan ibig sabihin itong mga application na to is magra-run yan okay in a background na uh, nagko-consume yan ng battery so pwede natin yung i-turn off. So, uh, sa ganon is maka-save tayo ng battery and at the same time, yung mga application na yan is still updated kahit na naka-shutdown sila in, in a background. Okay? Number 7. Show file extensions in File Explorer. So, para makita natin yung mga file extension ng certain file doon sa File Explorer. Okay? So, punta lang tayo first sa ating uh, file explorer and then from the menu bar select natin yung view tab so uh, dito sa option ng view tab hanapin natin dito yung mga yung checkbox na file name extension so by enabling um, this feature okay so makikita natin na ngayon yung mga file extension ng certain file for example, uh, this photo, ang file format niya is .png. Naka-indicate na siya automatic. So, kapag naka-disable 
yung option na to. So, tingnan natin. Ayan na. No? Uh, mawawala yung file extension. So, para maibalik natin, okay, uh, click nyo lang ulit yung view and then just check this option. So, para yan na, no? meron na siyang um, file extension na naka-display. Okay? Number 8, cut down on distractions with focus assist. So, these features of Windows 10 will turn off the notification na nagde-display dito sa my uh, notification pane. So, ang purpose nitong feature na to is basically to disable yung nagpo-prompt na notification. This features of Windows 10 is very important, syempre, to avoid yung very annoying na nagpo-prompt, especially kapag meron kang ginagawa. Tapos may uh, bawat notification is nagde-display doon sa gilid. So, to do that, punta lang ulit tayo sa settings. And then, from the menu, select natin yung system. And then, hanapin natin sa left pane yung focus assist. And then, uh, several option is uh, lalabas dito, is magpapakita dito. So, kapag naka-off yan, ibig sabihin, uh, magpa-prompt yung mga notification. So, kapag priority only, uh, obviously, okay, um, pwede tayong mag-custom ng application na pwede lang mag-prompt. Mag and then, the, the last option is alarms only. So, this uh, option is will hide all notification except for alarm. So, that's it. Number 9, clipboard. So, the Windows 10 now can save all the clipboard history or yung mga nakapi mo na text na file is ilalagay niya yan sa clipboard na kung saan is pwede mong balikan. So, para makita natin yon, just simply press ating keyboard, the Windows plus V. So, as we can see, magpapakita dito yung mga uh, recent na kinapin natin, including the image, the text. So, pwede natin yung i-directly na i-paste just by clicking those uh, specific na clipboard. For example, um, paste natin sa notepad yung certain text. Okay, again, Windows V. And then, piliin natin, for example, itong text na to. So, ayan na. Automatic na siya na magpa-paste doon once na pinindot natin yung specific na clipboard. Number 10, emoji. Windows 10 can um, input now an emoji. Para may palabas natin yung emoji niyan, just simply press sa ating keyboard, Windows period. Okay, so ulitin ko, Windows plus period. And then, emoji dialog will appear. Para magamit ng emoji na yan, um, i-click nyo lang yan yung certain or yung specific na emoji at automatic ka na mag input doon sa uh, text field. Uh, for example, try natin sa uh, Google Chrome. And then again, press sa ating keyboard, Windows period. So, click lang natin yan. Na-input na siya doon sa address bar. So, try natin yung iba. So, yan. Yan. Okay, and so on. So, ganun tayo nag input ng emoji dito sa Windows 10. Okay, that's it guys. I hope na meron na naman kayong bagong natutunan dito sa aking video. So, kung nag-enjoy ka, please like and don't forget to subscribe. That's all and bye!